Hello and welcome to another scripting tutorial. Now I know I haven't done a scripting tutorial in quite a long time now, and by a long time I mean months. Actually I'm not even sure when the last one was. But anyway, uh, that's because I didn't have enough time to, to make these videos, but now I do. So here we go. This is a video about how to make game I mean like the game pass script. So say a player enters your game and you want to give them 30 points if they've got a special pass then this is the script to do that right I'm not actually going to be teaching you how to make it from scratch now because what I need to teach you is how to take scripts and unpick them as well so scripting is not just about you know making scripts from scratch like taking a let's say let me find a script here we go and I don't know start making stuff so a equals five making things from scratch basically it's not just about that so you need to know how to take a script and unpick it take the bits that you want from it and make it into your own so if you open up the toolbox go to game stuff and find a game pass VIP door okay basically you know I mean if you've used these before you kinda know how they work you touch the door and it teleports you to the other side of the door um, now you don't really need to, we're not, I'm not going to be going over how it actually teleports you to the other side of the door um, getting all the vectors and moving you from one place to another I'm going to be going over the actual game pass section of the door so for instance if you open up the um, open up the objects and find find an object uh, int value uh, with the name of game pass ID and this is the ID uh, of the game pass that is being used so open up the script and here we go, here's one line that we need game pass service um, how do I explain what a service is service could be something like lighting players then there's another one called game pass service uh, and you basically need this when you're working with game passes okay uh, you'll kind of see after see players, players is another service it's like this uh, get service players is like saying game dot players that is that is a service game dot players so game dot players that is basically equal to this player service here um, or game get service players okay so that's basically what a service is you don't need to know too much what it is but that is a brief explanation of what it is now. Game Pass service is the service we're going to use to work with Game Passes. So this is a line of code that we're going to need. So if you copy and paste that into your new script that you've just made in a workspace, uh, copy and paste this Game Pass service to get the actual service. We'll be using this later on. Uh, next, what we're going to need is a Game Pass ID. Okay. For now, we'll leave this blank or you can put as many zero, zeros as you want in there as you want uh, but this is the ID of the actual game pass that we're going to be using so for instance if I go to my game ready steady build um, and select a game pass C frame tool this here at the top of the screen in the address bar um, the, the few numbers on the end of the on the end of the uh, link is the IP okay that's the IP of the game pass I mean ID ID of the game pass not IP ID now you can leave that blank for the meantime because uh, we haven't actually made a game pass for the game that we're making now so leave that blank uh, now what we're going to need is let's have a look uh, basically what this script is going to do is it's going to check if the player has a specific game pass okay um, when they enter the game if they do have a game pass we're going to award them 30 points if they don't have the game pass then we're going to give them nothing so let's make a an event first game.players.player added it's going to be a player added event so as soon as they join the game um, let's make a leader stats stats equal actually no we need to pass in a player parameter stats equals do, 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 do instance dot new uh, int value we're going to insert that into the player 
stats.name equals leader stats. You should know how to do this. If you don't, then you should watch my other tutorials. Uh, that's good to go. Points equals instance dot dot new int value. I'm going to insert that into the stats. Points dot name equals points and points dot value. We'll edit that later. Anyway, go back to the VIP door. Now, instead of actually you know writing out the code yourself, which you know I could do, but I'm teaching you how to unpick scripts at the same time as well. Um, this is a good skill that you really do need to kind of kind of learn. So doo -doo -doo. let's unpick the script then. So if we have a look at the script, we want the bit of the script that checks if the player actually has the game pass. Uh, if they've actually bought the game pass. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look for that. Now it's probably not going to be in the teleport to other side function. So let's have a look down here. Uh, here we go. If game pass service player has pass, that's a keyword that you need to look out for. You know, these these types of words you just need to look out for them. This is the if statement that checks if the player actually has the game pass. So let's copy this entire if statement, smack it into our code and de-indent that twice okay and what we're going to do is we don't need this teleport to other side function because we're going to make our own code inside there but we do need this top line here so let's just check what this top line actually does so game pass service we're taking the service and we're using a function that's inbuilt into the roblox studio into the language uh, we're using a function that's built in called player has pass and this is obviously a function that checks if the player has this uh, current pass using the ID here. Now we don't have a variable called game pass ID object. Okay, so we're going to take this out. Now this player has pass um, function takes two parameters: the actual player that we're checking uh, to see if they actually have to pass. So first parameter is the player, which we have initialized here in the event. So there we go. That's the player sorted. And the next parameter is the ID of the game pass that we're going to be checking if they have. So here we've actually made a variable for that. So let's copy and paste that variable into there. Okay. So now we've checked if the player has the pass. If they do have the pass, we're going to say points dot value equals fifty. Okay. So we're going to give them fifty points at the beginning of the game. So when they enter the game, they get fifty points. Okay, and you can make this whatever you want. You could you could say play dot uh, points dot value. If you have saved their points, then you could I don't know give them an extra five hundred points whenever they enter the game. You could do whatever you want. Okay, um, this is just an example. So that's that. Now what we need to do is we need to actually create a game pass, which you can do by going to your place, uh, going to create a game pass um, find an image for your game pass okay so find an image create an image uh, save it and then use that image as your game pass image uh, give it a name something like free points uh, that's obviously a bad name for a game pass but you can do better and then describe it so this you got to be very descriptive um, is that even a word? I don't know. You've got to kind of describe really well what the Game Pass actually does because you don't want someone uh, buying a Game Pass and not knowing what it actually does because then they're not going to buy a Game Pass, are they? So be descriptive. Describe what your Game Pass actually does. Uh, this gives you 50 points at the beginning of the game. Well, no. It's going to be 50 points when you enter the game. Okay. Um, so yeah, describe it as well as you can, and then that is all done. There is your game pass, uh, game pass service if statement. Check if they've got the game pass, and that is pretty much all you need. So let's just go through this one more time. Game pass service is the actual service of the game pass, which you're going to be using uh, here um, to check if the player actually does have the game pass. You're going to be using a function on this game pass service called player has pass. 
takes two parameters, the actual player and the game pass ID, okay, which we have up here. And if they do have the game pass, we're going to make their points equal to 50. And that is all you need to know. Um, yep, that's it. Go ahead, try and uh, give your new game a game pass now. Um, so, next tutorial, again, I'm not sure when that's going to be. Uh, whenever I have time again. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, I will see you in the next tutorial then. Make sure you leave a comment. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and watch my other tutorials as well, as well, if you haven't already done that. And basically what I want to tell you is, if you've watched all my tutorials, you pretty much have all the skills you need to know um, to make a good game in Roblox, okay? Um, so for instance, teleporting to a brick if you have enough points. You can do that because I've shown you how to use the touch, fun uh, the touch event. And I think, do you know how to teleport players? If you don't, all you've got to do is get the player's character, player.character, use the move to function on it, and teleport it to a new vector. So vector 3.new, wherever you want to teleport it. This is the function to teleport a player. Okay? Um, but you pretty much have all the all the skills you need to know to make a good game. Uh, the next few tutorials that I'm going to be uploading onto this YouTube channel are just going to be helpful tips. Okay, nothing new that you need to learn. Just just helpful tips that can that can help you when you're scripting. Anyways, before the video gets too long, I'm going to be off now. So I will see you in the next tutorial, I guess. Bye. Oh my goodness, it's not letting me close it. Oh damn it. Okay, now bye.